Hello oh, guys, my name is TJ Muslim and welcome back to another In today's video. video I'll be showing you how to make an easy bedrock edition 1.19 survival easy friendly thingamajig villager reader. So the design is here and as you can see it's working perfectly. There are villagers here and then there are down here there are um children. So in this video I'll be showing you how to build this exact machine and how it works as well. So this is amazing for starting a new world as you can do it literally at the like day one. So let's get straight into the tutorial. So firstly what we're going to need from the chest, we're going to need the dirt, the oak, the so, and the carrots, the water bucket, the composter and the, few, and the two torches. So these again aren't exact numbers but they're relatively what you're going to need. So you're going to put two water buckets down, of course they're going to flow but we're just going to do this to cover it up. Okay, now in four blocks in every direction from the two water buckets here we're going to go out. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh no, not that one there. So it's four there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And two, three, four. Okay, and now we're gonna need to fill up the dirt here. Okay, next what you're gonna need to do, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna get the Composter and the torches. We're going to put the composter one there and one there. These are going to be the villagers' workstations. And as the and at the end, I'm going to show how the farm works. But next, we're going to put two blocks there and put two torches. You can do it all around or just the two. It should be fine either way. So next, we're going to get the um, blocks and we're just going to surround the outside in oak planks. Done that. Next, I forgot to mention this, but we are going to need a hoe. So we're going to put that. And so we're going to uh, make sure that all of this, all of the soil is hoed down so that there's no like dirt left. It's just um, farmland. And next, with a few stacks of carrots, you're going to need to fill up the entirety of here with carrots. If, well, you don't need to do the entirety, but if you don't do ha uh, the, the entirety of it, it might take longer for the villagers to start breeding as their first priority. I think, I'm not great with the mechanics, but I think their first priority is to fill up the, all the available farmland instead of breeding. Okay, now that we've done the base of the villager reader, we're going to need to, here, we're going to put two blocks open and we're going to make a little room. It can be out of any block and like all of, like all the oak here, it can be replaced with any block you want, but you, you need to make a little room here. Um, take up two blocks like this and here now um i am gonna go and place you can place as many beds as you want but i recommend five at the start but for this sake the sake of this tutorial i'm just gonna fill the entire place with beds and of course this can be expandable you you can like make the room bigger if you want but for now it's just gonna be this uh, uh, okay, um, next it's getting night time, but we're gonna put a trapdoor there, a trapdoor there, and a trapdoor there, and a trapdoor there. More trapdoors there and there. And now we're gonna need to go down like this. Of course, this is a super flat world and I've already reached bedrock, but in a normal world, it should be fine. So we're going to go and put two water buckets far back there and it's going to push us and then you just dig out here until the water stops here and then we're going to make a room here. Also probably 
useful to make to do the torches because you put torches everywhere but now we're just gonna dig out this room i'm gonna use commands but yeah okay so we've made this little area so realistically you're gonna want the top to be filled with um the roof so a roof on the top should be nice i forgot to mention something so you're gonna put torches everywhere there and kill any spiders that come our way okay so i forgot to mention uh we go here uh, instead of that we're gonna go and we're gonna patch up that one and then um so it's getting a bit fiddly but here so this is how it should look now i'm gonna take away this part so um now it should look a bit like this and of course you like i couldn't do it but what you can do is dig further down here instead of just a few blocks but what the villagers will do is they'll go like this and they'll end up here so we need so on this block they'll end up so i'm guessing so what you're gonna need next is i think you're gonna need more than 10 glass now that i look at it but you're gonna need some glass there to make sure all the villagers are arriving safely and next you're gonna need um a villager pickup area for the villagers to be um like properly like pick and then yeah they'll come here and they'll gather in this spot there now what uh, you can like well you can you can do anything you want with them really you can like send a minecart right or figure out how to because i don't know how to i have to follow a tutorial and i'm not going by tutorial this so um you can like put the villagers in there they can stay in there and then this is a big room for trading and stuff or whatever or you could just gather them here and when you need that one you just get a boat and put it there and stuff <laughs> that's like the most makeshift of options but that's usually what i do <laughs> anyway so we've got this and it's basically complete now we set into the breeder because once a zombie is in the breeder all the villagers die so of course we need to cover up the bed area so um uh, like no zombies can go over the trap door and stuff and um, so now it's impossible for a zombie to enter the breeder. There is not a way. Okay, but so what will happen now is there will be, oh sorry, these trap doors are meant to be on this block above. So what will happen is villagers will fall down there. They'll, once they've fallen, they'll just follow this and gather here and then yeah oh one more thing sorry that that won't work because sometimes the villager will come here so what you're going to need to do now is add a second current coming this way oops not not there a few further blocks And now, yeah, now you're done. So from the outside here, it'll look like this. And then from the outside here, it should look like this. But now to get the villagers inside. So let me just clear my inventory. clear. So now we need to get the villagers in. What you can do is if you're rich enough, you can get um, you can get uh, minecart rails all the way from a, near, a nearby village or whatever. So you could get like um, like this, and like that, and then you could go like make a like villagers come in, uh, come in like this over minecart. But or another cheaper way. You could use boats and slowly travel across land in boats but for now i'm just gonna do spawn eggs just because there's no um villages to show so with a villager we're gonna get 
the villagers. Now we are going to put them inside the breeder. Now they're both farmers, they should immediately go to work. Now, it's not going to happen immediately, but what if you what you can do is to speed up the process. If you have too many carrots, you can uh, get a ton of them and just chuck them on the villagers. This also works with bread, potatoes, anything like that. But unfortunately, but it's easier with like this. And now that the baby's come out, the baby will eventually walk, I'm going to do it for him, but walk all the way, come on, it's hard pushing a baby ch a child across the farmland, anyway, he'll fall down, no, okay, he'll, get, he'll do it itself, but wait, oh, there's another one, so yeah, if you, it can really speed it up if you do that, but if I just turn uh, into sorry, night time, the villagers will run for the bell. Oh, mistakes were made. That's meant to be closed off, <laughs> but <laughs> I hope that doesn't go wrong. But for now, I'm gonna kill these. This guy, sorry. You guys are in the wrong place though. Um, sorry. No, you died. Unfortunately, all the villagers will have to die, even. No, the babies can stay, sorry. So, um, you need to make sure that they can't get into that room, right? And, uh, no, you can't get these nitwits, those ones don't work. But, um,. And then now there's two farmers and they should do the same thing. Sorry if that happens to any of you, but you should um, make sure that they can't get into the bed area. Um, but that's how to make a simple villager breeder you, for early game. Like you can do this in literally the first day of your survival world. Oh, and here's a zombie to test out if a zombie can get into him. They, they can't. But yeah, uh, this works perfectly. And when they, the, so this is how you get villagers. There are better designs, but I'm trying to make this one, uh, like, best for, like, first day if you want to do it right at the start of your survival world. But as that, we're just watching a baby villager fall down there. So. And that's that, we're gonna end the video. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. And if you enjoyed my content in general, uh, I would love a subscription. That helps a lot. So, see you in the next video.